Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about conditionals, specifically if else statements or if or else if also. Um, so let me first show you what they look like and then we'll talk some more about comparators and truthy and falsy and whatnot. So um, here's how they look. If, let's say if um, true, let's just do a really easy uh, if statement here, then we're going to console log uh, in the if state. So obviously true is true, so it's going to log in the if statement. Um, and then let's do an else if here. So obviously uh, if, the, if the thing in the parentheses is true or truthy, then it's going to do this. Obviously false is not true or truthy. Else if, and we'll make this one true, uh, console log in the else if statement. So what this is going to do is it's going to skip this one because obviously false is not true. It's going to reach this one. True is obviously true or truthy, and it's going to log in the else if statement. So we should only see a second log there. And then let's make this one false also. So obviously that is not true. And then the last one is going to be else console log in the else else statement. So this is basically the format of the uh, of comparators and how you use if, else if, and else statements. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to the format. Now obviously this isn't very useful because you're not, not really ever going to put false and true directly in there. Um, so let me comment this out. Let's talk about comparators now. Um, there are several different kinds of comparators. You can have uh, triple equals, which is basically if two things are equal to each other. Uh, exclamation point equals, which is not equal to. We can have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal, or less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Uh, yeah, and I think those are the major ones. Uh, I can't think of any more right now. Uh, so for example, let's try to use each one of these. So let's just say var number is equal to four. Um, so let's just try using the, tri let's just try using each of these. If, let's say, um, four is equal to four, we're gonna log, or four is equal to number, let's make that. Let's, do, let's put that first. Number is equal to four, then we're gonna console log, console dot log, number is equal to four. So we have that. Um, if the number was actually five, we would not expect that log to show up because number is obviously not equal to four, but if we change this to not equal to, it will show up. Um, if we change this to less than, it will not show up because five is not less than four. But if we change this to greater than, uh, it will show up and so on. If we change this to uh, five, and this was great, greater than or equal to, it will show up. Um, not because it's not equal to four. Um, what we can also do is, uh, Let's just throw an else statement in there. So if number is greater than or equal to five, let's make this three so it's not greater than or equal to five. So that will not show up. We'll say um, else if number is equal to three. Let's see, we'll log number is three. So that should show up there. But if our number was two, then neither of those will show up. And then uh, we can just say else. Mm, let's just console log. I don't know what to do, and that's spelled wrong. And I don't. I skipped the apostrophe because that'll mess things up. I guess I could do don't and then backslash apostrophe to escape that. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm just making stuff up right now. And then finally, we have truthy and falsy. We talked about this in our um, in a previous video about how uh, things don't necessarily. Well, I guess first of all. Uh, if we console log this, it would end up being true. So uh, these end up being booleans. So if I console log uh, number is greater than or equal to five, we should expect this to be false um, because obviously three is not greater than or equal to five. Uh, so that's going to be false. If I change this to uh, seven, it's going to be true. So these things in here, they're going to be booleans. They're going to be true or false. But with comparators, we can also use um, truthy and falsy. 
So remember, truthy is if, if something exists. So if I just do if number, obviously number exists. We can just say console.log is truthy because the number exi exists, and we should see that there. Um, but if our number, what if we took away the number and it was undefined, then it's not going to show up because uh, let's get rid of this right here because um, the number does not exist because the number right here is undefined. And we can do an else if we can do like if number equals. Okay, I'm not sure if this will work. Let's try that. Uh, console log number not defined. And that does show up. Um, let's say if this was just some random string, obviously that won't be true, so that won't show up. And we can just throw in an else here. Else. Um, number something else or something like that. So yeah, that's how you use comparators and if-else statements. They are very, very powerful and very commonly used, so it is a very good idea to become very familiar with them. As you can see, they're pretty simple. There's not much to them, but they're used pretty much everywhere because um, you often want times want to just check um, whether something's true or if not, um, do something else, and if not, do something else. You can throw in as many else ifs as you want. So we can say else if number is equal to a number. We can uh, do something else, you know, do something else. And we can throw in as many as we want. Um, so yeah, that's if else statements and conditionals. Um, in future videos, we'll talk about other stuff. I think this covers all of the basics of JavaScript. Um, I think in a future video, I'm going to make one on higher order functions and how to pass functions into other functions and how that relates to callbacks and all that stuff. But that's a little more complex and advanced. Still important to know, but I think this concludes our basics of JavaScript series. And thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful, and good luck learning all of this stuff. Bye.